Hello everyone and welcome back to Camp Buddy. In the last part, I can't remember too much other than Yoichi getting naked at the swimwear contest. So that's great. Usually, well, for the past two weeks, typically I've been recording every second day for Camp Buddy, but I, I took like an extra day or two. Um, because why not? <laughs> why not? But now I'm here. That's cool and all, but do you guys really think Scam Master Yoshi prepared every kind of bed we could think of? Yeah. Oh, of course. Oh, I will say this. I decided to Google about the Yoshinori Goro route, and I couldn't find any official information, just that most people seem to believe that it's happening. Uh, given statements from the creator, um, pieces of artwork that have been posted and or leaked. So, yeah. And the reason I say and or leaked is because I'm not sure if they are officially posted or not. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, even if you go to Google Images, if you type in, like, Camp Buddy Goro, you will probably, you'll find pictures. You'll find pictures that very much look like official art from Camp Buddy. Now, they could have just been posted to your man's, um, Patreon, because I know he does, like, uh, art for the game. That's not actually in the game, but... I digress. Seems to me like the general consensus is that the route is probably happening. Maybe in like a Camp Buddy expansion pack or something. Um, that's all I could really glean. I, I, I looked into this for about maybe three to four minutes. Yeah, that sounded like a lot of work for him if he did make so many badges in advance. Oh! Oh, don't worry. I'm pretty sure Scott Master Yoshinori didn't mind crafting all the possible hobbies and interests all of us can think of. A lot of people were also pointing to hints from Taiga's route, and I kind of got that too. Um, more so for uh, Yoshinori and Goro. Not that it isn't plausible that Aiden and Yoshinori couldn't have a root, because they totally have the structure for one, but yeah. <laughs> and if not, he'll gladly make one just for you. Really? Even the I don't give a damn badge. Wolf boy. Now, I think I said in the last video anyway. I was going to um, hmm. just fast forward this. Yeah, that's right. But honestly, I just remembered now, <laughs> so uh, I'm just gonna kind of click through this. Re I'll read it, but I'm not gonna, you know, voice it. If you if you catch my drift, I I'm just you know. <laughs> in a, in a perfect world, I could just hit the skip button and we could get to the only relevant amazing. scenes. Because don't get me wrong, this is technically new dialogue. I just oh. don't think it's that important to show. <laughs> I can't wait. <sighs> And I mean, I've seen a lot of comments about this, how the, you know, the first initial roots for this game, you know, the, the core four, um, Bye. They, they are different, but they have very, very much a lot of similarities going on between them. So they can feel similar. Oh. I wouldn't really have as much of a problem with this. It's just that I'm let's playing the game and for the purpose of a hmm. let's play, oh Lord. Hmm. Natsumi. Oh, what's up, Natsumi? Still thinking of which badge you want to go for? Yeah, that's uh, right. Yes, Kitaro. I'm trying to decide how to do this, since I actually have most of the badges already. But... But I can't really get the ones I still need here at the beach right now, so I'm not sure how this activity will go. Although, you're probably going for the photography badge, Kitaro. Am I right? Uh... uh there goes my sur How? You thought that was going to be a surprise? <laughs> well, it was a little obvious. You do love to take pictures of... things, after all. You know, if anything, this game is like really blatant. I mean, come on. For for the for the for the swimwear competition, he wore frog underwear. And, and of course, for this badge activity, he's going for a photography badge. Also, his current swim trunks are green, which are very much synonymous with a frog. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Next, I'm gonna look up like what Katero means, and it's gonna have some like connection to frogs too. That would that would be a scream. Yeah, I really do. <laughs> Speaking of, do you already have the photography badge, Natsumi? No. N not yet, Kedro. I was trying to earn it this term, but one scout accidentally broke the only camera the scout masters used to lend for the activity. Oh. Oh, how about we enter together with my camera then, Natsumi? That's great. That does sound fun, Kate. Yeah, 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 okay. Wow. Oh. So is this where we get to split and, and choose between going to Aiden and his workout and then Yuri and her... Eh? Swapping costume thing. Well, <laughs> because um, I'm okay with okay. this. 
you know, they're, they're, they're silly. I really enjoyed the filler last time. I think this is unfortunately going to be filler I'm maybe not too perked up about. Okay, he sounds like Lee right now. That's well... great. Uh... Not the aesthetic impact. As I was saying... Oh, I yes, I've also... I know about the rule of thirds. I learned about that in college. Um... Not that it's revolutionary. Any Google search will tell you about that shit. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Ooh. Anyway. Symmetry. Okay, yeah, this is great. See, this is what I mean. Y'all really want me to read this? This is basically like, you know, might as well be talking to Marion Webster. <laughs> Not to me. Oh. Yeah. So what am I even doing right. today? Well, besides recording camp, buddy. Um. Still playing Final Fantasy Thirteen. Well, I actually think after this, I'm going to record my podcast. I, I want to get everything knocked out of the park so that for the rest of the day, I can I can just flop. And besides, I know this video is going to take a little while to render, so. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, doing chores is shady because we're trying to not make sure he's doing chores. His favorite animal is boring. He never even talks about his favorite animal. Swimming. Sure. I know. Oh. Yeah. Ugh, this dialogue. So it's a little trite. It's a little trite. Hmm? Wow. Okay. Well. I love it. I just mentioned how he never talks about his favorite animal, and now he spends time talking about his favorite animal. Beetles are really my favorite. I collect a lot of them during the summer to look at them and set them free afterwards. Actually. I do keep the rare and big ones as pets, though. It's a little strange, isn't it? No, not at all. It's actually really cool. Aww. Oh, I'm glad you think so, Katero. Now I'm really excited about this. <laughs> I guess we've got a subject for our photography badge then. But so where do we even find a beetle around here? Don't worry. Oh my god, why is my housemate like skipping up the stairs, girl? Don't worry about that, Kidro. I know just the place. Oh, he was skipping down the stairs. That sounded weird as fuck. They usually hang up around on leaves and tree trunks, so we can try the nearby woods to look for them. All right. All right, Natsumi. Let me just go get my camera, then we'll head out. Okay. Sure thing, Kiro. Oh, are things gonna go awry? That would be kind of hot. Oh no, he still has his camera. Come on, Tiger, where you at? <laughs> ah, the air here feels so much more refreshing than the beach, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny if a random hunter saw us walking around the woods in our swimsuits? Uh, sure. Laugh riot. Yeah. I know, right? That'd be so awkward. Uh, bitch, if I was there, I'd be like giving them stone cold expressions. Like, y'all thought that was funny? <laughs> Imagine telling them it's because we're out here hunting for beetles. This ain't fucking funny! Yeah, that's right. Bitch, you ain't gonna find beetles, you're gonna find crickets! Cause these jokes ain't it. Oh, right. I almost forgot we're here for that. <laughs> Stop laughing! Oh god, I hate the kind of nervous laughter thing where, where people are like, Oh, I'm, I'm clearly not funny, so I'm gonna laugh to make it seem like I'm funny. Or, I recognize I'm not funny, but I'm gonna laugh in a sorry attempt to say the fact that I'm not funny. You feel me? Well... In a place as humid and with so much vegetation like this one, beetles are everywhere. They might be hidden, but I bet they're all around us right now. We might finish this activity sooner than you think, Katero. Hmm, here, let me try see. to look over here. Looks like Natsumi is having a lot of fun. It's nice to see him enjoy it. I don't really... Y'all just started the activity. Can you jump... Can you stop? Can you stop? Kato, I need you to stop. Alright? I need you to stop. I need you to... I need you to take it, take it down a notch. He, he literally just started looking for a beetle and you're like, Wow, he's having so much fun already. Fuck off. A little bit. This might be an activity, but I can't help but feel so relaxed when I'm around Natsumi like this. It almost feels like a day... What kind of dream, Daddy? Say you danchy type bullshit is happening right now. Hmm. hmm. Let's see. That's weird. Usually there should be some feeding on the tree slabs here. Not to me. Is there a specific type of beetle we're looking for? Not at all. Not really, but I think a big colorful one would be the perfect subject. Imagine how lucky we'd be to find something as unique as that for our photo. I have an idea. I could look over there by the bushes, but the lighting might be too dark and it might be too cramped. The rule book did state that the photo should be well lit and at a proper angle after all. Um. Um, not to me. The scoutmasters probably won't mind all the technical details as long as the photo looks good. Well. Well, maybe we could at least try an interesting action shot, like a beetle in a fight. But. 
Then again, beetles usually buy a desk in search of mates. And we don't have much time for that now. You know what I just thought of? The frickin' first boss fight from Spirit Tracks, which is just literally a giant beetle. Yeah! And we'd have to really be quick ourselves to take a picture like that. You know, Natsumi, maybe we should just keep it simple. Oh! Oh, did I go overboard again? Yeah! Yeah, kinda. You can just say yeah. Don't give him a kinda. Don't give him like a wishy-washy half-assed answer. He, he went overboard. <sighs> oh, I keep getting carried away by my own standards. You're pressured by the activity. You don't always need to follow any standards. Um. Yeah, fuck it, this is... It's alright. It's alright, Natsumi. You can forget all about the rules and guidelines for now. Well... You just need to remember how you used to enjoy... Wait. You just need to remember how you used to enjoy when you used to hunt for beet... What kind of phrasing? Yeah, that's right. You're totally right about that, Kidoro. I'm really sorry. I'm sorry again for acting that way. I was just reminded by how my brother would do things whenever we did stuff like this together. Oh. Oh, did your brother collect beetles with you too? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, actually, he was the one who got me interested in bug hunting in the first place. He knew exactly where to hunt, and he'd always find really rare ones too. I was always so amazed by him. Hmm. I guess I was trying to impress you like my older brother did with me back then. Well... You've mentioned about your big brother a couple of times now, Natsumi. From the way you talk about him, you two seem really close. Well... Ah, well. That's because we were, Kitaro. When we were younger, my parents always said nothing could turn Naoto and me apart. Oh! Oh, so your brother's name is Naoto. Uh, he sounds pretty close to yours. Are you guys alike in person, too? Not at all. Not really, Kitaro. Naoto is the life of the party wherever he goes, and unlike me, he excels in everything he wants to do very quickly as well. Growing up, I always wanted to be as well rounded as he was. Huh? Where is he now, though, and why isn't he in Camp Buddy with you? Um, ah, he's just gotten so busy with his own life. He moved out long time ago so to study in the city, and that was way before I even started attending Camp Buddy. I see. Yeah, that's You're probably right. right about just enjoying this beetle hunt. I mean, my brother and I never had real bucks or anything when we did this before. <laughs> that's right, Natsumi. Oh! Keitaro! Huh? Huh? Shh! Don't move a muscle! Natsumi! What's wrong, Natsumi? Natsumi! Why did you take a t picture of me? Well... Well, just look what I found on your shoulder. <laughs> oh, come on, thumbnail material. Unless we get a better picture. <laughs> <laughs> this little guy fell from the treetops. Luckily, he landed right on you, Kitaro. Wow! Wow, I didn't notice that at all. This is a stag beetle, right? Yeah, that's right. Yep, a male one, too. The one we saw on our first camping trip was a female. You know, it's kind of sad, but, you know, most of my beetle education comes from Animal Crossing! <laughs> wow! Wow, its horns are so big. Won't he bite you? Not at all. Oh, not at all, Kitaro. They're actually mostly harmless. Hmm. Oh, I sounded randomly like slightly fake British there. They only use their jaws to wrestle with each other with other male beetles over territory or females during breeding season. Blah, blah, blah. Fuck his voice. It's so hard to do. It's so hard to do. I still can't believe this subject for a photo literally fell out of the sky, Kitaro. <laughs> uh, I guess beetles like the easygoing knots of me, too. <laughs> I guess things do come naturally when you're having fun, huh? Um... Do you think this photo is good enough for us both to earn the photography badge, though? Of course! I definitely think so, but just to be sure, why don't we take a few extra shots? Sure! Sure thing. Oh my god, not two of my housemates talking right now. Y'all need to shut the f- mm, up. Natsumi and I continued to take tons of photos around the forest until we almost ran out of film. Not ran out of film! You only needed to take a few extra pictures. You did not need to take that many pictures. Yikes. Before we knew it, it was already sunset, and we'd spent the entire day just taking photos and enjoying ourselves almost a little too much. Well, I mean, I'm happy for you to relax. I'm not going to be a bitch about that, but... It seems a little bit OTT to take so many pictures that you run out of film. By the time we came back from the woods, we had hours worth of pictures to give to Scoutmaster Yoshi for a badge. This is what I mean. Completely OTT. Completely. Scoutmaster Yoshi! We're done with our activity. Oh! Oh, welcome back, boys. What badge were you trying to earn? <laughs> we decided to try and earn the photography badge, sir. Yes, of course. Uh, of course. I'm not surprised at all. As a matter of fact. I'd actually made the photography badge with you in mind, Kitaro. Although I am a bit surprised that you decided to join Kidro on this activity, Natsumi. Well... The photography badge was one of the badges I didn't have yet, sir. I figured this would be the perfect time to try and earn it with someone as experienced as Kidro. You see. 
I see, then let's see what kind of photos you boys were able to take. Sir! Here you go, sir. Oh, wow. The quality of these pictures is fantastic. You know, in some ways, Yoshinori's voice is so much more deep than my, my actual speaking voice that I thought it would strain on me, but I think because it's basically the Alex voice from Beyond Eden, right? And I think that LP in particular really just... I, it's second nature. It just it, it just became second nature. I, I have no issue voicing Yoshinori at all. Um... But Natsumi's can be a little bit of a struggle. A little bit of a struggle, not too bad. Hunters is fine, Heroes is fine. Yoichi's can really fuck up my throat if I do it for a long time. Um, and Aiden's is easily probably a, another one that's that's that I hate having to do for a long time. Oh wow, the quality of these pictures is fantastic. But this has to be the best one of the bunch. Oh! Oh, that's the one Natsumi took. Wow! I'm impressed! Whoa! Now I didn't expect that. It looks like you followed all the guidelines in the Camp Buddy Badge Earning Manual, Natsumi. Hmm. The angle, lighting, and especially the focus on this photo is exactly how it was described in the rulebook. Oh. Uh, oh. This is actually the first photo I took from the activity, sir. <laughs> now that's an even bigger surprise. <laughs> I was so sure you stuck to the rules like usual on this one. Uh, uh, not this time, sir. That's the case. Either way, I can definitely say that you boys earned this badge. Wow! Oh, wow, my first ever badge. Oh. And it's a limited edition one, too. Thank you so much, Scoutmaster Yoshi. Good job. You boys did a great job. Thank you for participating in the activity. Blah, 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 blah. Natsumi. Natsumi, you've got to show me how to pin this onto my uniform later. Of course. Of course. You might need your own sash, too, Kidaro. Congratulations. Congratulations. You two are the first to complete the badge earning activity today. I hope you two had fun while doing it. <laughs> we sure did. Right, Natsumi? Yeah, that's right. Y yeah. Hmm. I think everyone else should be finished with their activities by now. I'll just go and check up on them. Aiden is already cooking dinner as well, so you boys are free to relax until then. Oh. Oh, if you want, sir, I can go and help Sir Aiden cook. I'm sure he could use a hand with all the prep work. Oh. Excellent idea, Natsumi. I'm actually in a bit of a rush to conclude the activity because Aiden is expecting me to help him out tonight. Yes, sir. I don't mind coming for you, sir. Good job. I knew I could count on you, Natsumi. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I won't let you down. That's all for today. Now, if you don't mind, I'll take my leave now and make sure everyone's back in time for dinner. See you boys later. Kidaro? Kidaro, I know what you're going to say, but I promise, I'm not feeling tired at all this time. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't going to say anything. I really don't mind helping Sir Aiden with cooking dinner. Huh? But you're going to help too, Kidaro? Of course, Natsumi. I don't have anything else to do right now, and I'm not tired yet either. Whew. I was so worried you'd think I was overworking again. Well... Well, you did tell me you were trying to find some balance this morning, so I understand. Besides, we just had a really relaxing time taking photos in the woods together. Let's go! Now let's go and help Sir Aiden out. All right. Oh, I love it. I talked about how voicing Sir Aiden does me in, and now we have to hang out with That's Aiden. Oh, reporting God. for duty. <laughs> <laughs> reporting for duty, sir. Uh... Whoa! Whoa, you two finished with your activity already? You know, the thing is, is that Aiden's voice is just Ian's, but, uh, you know, coming out on top was back in 2014, 2015, and back then, the voice really didn't strain me too bad, but now it's like, ugh. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We're hoping Keitaro and I could help you a little bit preparing dinner. Hmm. Usually I turn you boys down on that offer, but I really do need a few helping hands with tonight's dish. Oh, Oh, what are you cooking, sir? And today's oh my god, I'm missing circulation is... in my foot. Uh-oh. Oh, whatever. <laughs> Beef and potato stew. Oh, girl, bye. I don't like stew. But you know, oh my god, sue me. <laughs> I'm out of Irish people that'll be like, what, you don't like stew? No. I don't like stew. Never. I just don't like it. It's just it's just too like liquidy and gooky. I, 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 I would rather just have those as separates, like just beef and potato. Who hasn't fucking had potato in our company? Jesus, you can have it as spuds, you can have it as mash. Lord. I figured it'd be nice to have something special for today. Wow! Ah, that sounds really yummy. Yep. I think not, bitch. What do I even want to eat today? I don't know. I have no appetite. I had a kiwi for breakfast. Like, just one single measly kiwi. And I love me some kiwis, but... That's the definition of low-effort breakfast. <laughs> when you wake up and just grab something for convenience's sake, oof. 
Lord. Okay, uh, if you hear me moving around, I'm sorry. I'm trying to get more comfortable, okay? This this scene is probably going to bore me, and I need to get comfy so I can sleep during it. <laughs> oh. I'm not reading this. <laughs> y'all y'all can drag me. I don't care. I'm not reading this. Uh, well, actually, I know. I am reading it. I'm just not going to voice act it, okay? Um... <sighs> I just find this shit really boring. I actually enjoyed the, the little beetle scene because, again, it was a, a chance for us to gain further insight into Natsumi's relationship with his brother. I mean, we learned Natsumi's uh, brother's name. That's that's cool. And I'm not trying to say that every scene has to give you further insight into the character because I enjoyed the uh, swimmer competition and that, did, that didn't progress anyone. Um, but this is just boring. <laughs> I mean, imagine if Camp Buddy showed you every single thing they did throughout the day. Like, I, Kiro cleaning the bathroom. <laughs> uh, my, my perfect example is back in No Thank You, there's this, well, what I call an infamous scene where they spend about three minutes talking about Haru sweating because he's walking home on a, on a sunny day. It's the definition of why is this fucking here? You can cut this, filler content, useless. So yeah. Sure thing. Keitaro. I also find Aiden's underwear more and more offensive. It's just so ugly. Right. <laughs> hmm. Although from what I saw online, Aiden has quite the fan base. I understand me I mean that could partially be due to the fact that his voice actor is in a lot of well known things, but I don't know. I, I've, honestly, from what I've played of Camp Buddy, there is nothing here that, that, that makes Aiden like wow to me. Oh. He's a little sleazy, a little cheeky. Uh, he's a good guy, but um, <laughs> there's nothing gripping for me. And he's certainly good looking, but uh, uh, he, does, he does nothing for me. Mm -mm. Mm, true. Honestly, when I first started playing the game, I thought Natsumi was gonna be basically like a like a scoutmaster in training. <laughs> well, well. Oh my god, is, is my housemate talking to herself? I'm gonna assume she's on the phone, because that would be a new point of delusion. <laughs> <laughs> Not that I can really judge. Sometimes I talk to myself, you know, sometimes for my for my podcast, what I'll do is I'll basically do a test run where I'm not recording. I'll, like, voice out the podcast myself right beforehand, maybe, just to make sure that I'm, I know what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> but it's basically talk to myself because I'm not actually recording that. I'm, I'm not even speaking into the mic. I'm just, I'm just talking it out as, like, a practice run. So, I, I you know. Ugh. Okay, this scene actually has value. Shit. Really? He's your role model? Ah! I thought it would have been Yoshinori! <laughs> yes, sir. Uh. True. Well. Well, if there's one thing I can say for sure, it's that I love seeing people smile when they enjoy what I've worked hard for. Some people might think I'm doing this just because this is my job, but that's not it at all. Actually, I do it because I love doing it. it. Makes me and the people around me happy. Hmm. I think that's the main reason I enjoy my work here so much. Oh my god, I was dragging the game and it was actually giving me a meaningful cutscene this entire time. Well, clearly I'm Boo Boo the Fool. I think that's the main reason I enjoy my work here so much. It's gotta be why you do it too, right, Natsumi? Um. No, you better clock him. Sir! I've got the firewood, sir. Finally! Uh, great. Natsumi and I just finished chopping up the veggies. You two can set up the fire while I season the meat. <laughs> Let's get this campfire started. Right. Hmm. Natsumi is being shaken, but I, I, I assume this is all in preparation for his waterfall confession where everything comes to a head, so... I noticed Natsumi was a little quiet while we were preparing the campfire together, and I wondered if something was on his mind. As soon as everything was ready, Sir Aiden began cooking while Natsumi and I prepared the dining area. Once we were finally done, everyone was called to dinner and we all ate Sir Aiden's delicious stew by the warm fireside. 
okay, honestly, but warm and fireside is feels like almost like a non sequitur. Like, oh yes. Oh yes, I I I was in the wet water. Ah! <laughs> All right, what's the next cutscene, mamas? <laughs> ah, finally some good food. Butt cheeks really hit the spot with this beef stew. Hey! Hey, yesterday's barbecue was just as good, wolf boy. Can't you just say you like the food? Huh? Weren't you listening, Torchhead? How is that not a compliment? <sighs> <sighs> Let's talk about something else before these two start arguing again. Oh! Oh, that's right, guys. It's about time we show the badges we got. Let's start with Hunter. Oh. Oh, me? <laughs> I got the art badge in my activity. I thought it would be nice to try and sketch up the ocean scenery. Wow! Oh, wow, I didn't know you could draw, huh? Didn't we have this scene before? And I was also baffled that Hero didn't know he could draw because it's really fucking obvious. <laughs> uh, whatever. End of the scene, I'm going to just kind of breeze through. Y'all, y'all can drag me again. <laughs> <laughs> Because uh, I'm assuming all their badges are going to be very obvious. Is there any reason for me to voice act this? Absolutely not. Zilch reason. Huh? Mm. Wow. I bought so much shit yesterday, by the way. Like, and by shit, I mean, like, sweets. <laughs> hey! And I'm so tempted just to eat so bad today, but no. I'll be a good boy. I'll eat, like, a proper breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and then... Well, probably after lunch is where I'll start doing some bad stuff. It's just, oh, the sugar withdrawals are real. Hey. I can't. I just can't. Oh, you know, food is one of the few things I can look forward to every day. And at, but at the moment, yeah, there's nothing. I like. I had bolognese the past few days, and that was nice. But I had bolognese three days in a row, and you can get sick of anything you like. And and now I'm at the point where there's nothing for dinner that I'm actually excited to have. So, I guess I'm relying on my sweets to really be my exciting meals. Although I shouldn't really call them meals. <laughs> They're not fucking meals. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh. These badges. I am, um, you know, I could say something, but I'm not wow. going to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did y'all hear that yawn? Well... Am I serving low energy today? I can't tell. Honestly, honestly in editing, this is going to be a mess. <laughs> I don't know how. You know, I, I do check the analytics occasionally, and I do know that typically viewers tend to dip out, I think, after like the 10 minute mark. I mean, any YouTuber worth their salt knows that typically, you know, a, a casual viewer who finds your videos will, will dip after the first oh. 10 or so. Um... And it's really your long-time viewers, you know, your your subscribers per se, um, that that'll watch this little thing. So I don't know how y'all can sometimes stick me just talking. Although I know some people just enjoy having someone talking in the background, and I'm very much the same. The amount of times I will have a Gabby Sparts stream because she uploads them to YouTube, and I'll just play them in the background. I won't even pay attention sometimes. I just like having the background audio. Sure. Kind of like being kept company without having company. Hmm. So I get that. I, I wouldn't know why you choose a camp buddy. Let's play as your choice of company, but hey, to each their own. Well. In my mind, I don't really begrudge anyone that dips out because there there are certain parts of this LP that I think are entertaining, but for the most part, there's a lot of in between where nothing really happens that you need to pay attention to. Because <laughs> I am also there. I am guilty of years and years ago. Um, I can't remember. There was there was like a time where I basically I would discover maybe a let's play, and it would be already finished. So what I do is I would pretty much skip ahead throughout the let's play to what I consider the juicier parts. So there would be a lot missing. <laughs> I don't. I haven't done that in a long time, but I used to. We're talking like really long time ago, like maybe uh, eight years ago or something like a very very long time all right huh oh hey <coughs> oh uh hi guys hmm. what were you doing there tent taiga hmm. you must be up to something again what why aren't y'all no. stopping him <laughs> no of course not uh, we're all friends now remember 
I was actually just looking for you guys. I figured you'd be in your tent still. For real? Oh, really? Well, we're here, so what did you want to talk about? That's not... I, um... Well... Uh, actually, I wanted to talk to Katero alone, if that's all right. Oh. Oh, me? I'm sorry. It's just, I've been thinking a lot about what you said during the sports fest. About how we should just be friends and start over. I... I think you were right. We did get off on the run, but... Ugh, oh, the acting... Taiga is such a king, I can't. The fact that, the, I mean, <laughs> the fact that the game pretty much peaked on its first route for me is a little bit of a mess, but I, I still think that Yoichi's is gonna be good, right? I still think it's gonna be good. The only thing against Yoichi's route is that it's gonna repeat events again. That's probably the only thing I have against it, but there'll be plenty of new, and I think all of the fresh content will satisfy me. Ugh. Really? Although, again, this is another instance of Kitaro just being really gullible. Thanks. Not that people aren't gullible, but that, that yeah, that, that that was my big critique in, in Hero's Root, is that Kitaro just seemed really dumb, really gullible, nonsensical, oblivious, dense, whereas in Taiga's Root, he wasn't really any of those things. If anything, he was extremely conscious and aware and acute and had a great perception of things. So it just makes the writing feel even more contrived when he isn't dumb, because we all know he actually really isn't that stupid. Oh. Nope. Bye. Uh. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Hmm? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's up to something, but you guys aren't going to really do anything. Well... I love it. Kiro becomes like his delusional spokesperson. Seriously? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> good luck booking that stage you speak of. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <sighs> uh. Yeah, of course Natsumi would say that. Not gonna lie, part of me enjoys this more casual. I'm just gonna read the dialogue in my own time while I click through and talk. Not that I, cause <sighs> I always get like this, right? When I have to voice act in an LP, I miss the voice acting. When there's voice acting in the LP, I miss doing the voice acting. <laughs> so it's really a hard balance. I mean, if Camp Buddy just had more voice acted scenes, I wouldn't mind as much voicing these in-between moments, even if they were repetitive. But I digress. It's really nice that Taiga and I are finally able to be friends. I was worried after the way he acted at the sports festival that he wouldn't change. But I'm glad he was able to let go of the past. Ugh, foolish. Hmm. Now I just need to let it go as well. We can all move forward. Oh my god. Come on, mendacity. Uh, uh, for some reason, I'm not sleepy yet. Actually. And it's actually much warmer and cozier tonight. Yeah. Yeah, summer weather's really weird, huh, Hunter? Yeah! Uh, what? What kind of comment was that? <laughs> uh, I can't sleep like this. Yoichi. Yoichi, why are you stripping down? Duh. Because it's too hot to sleep in clothes, duh. Ugh. Okay, but I actually kind of like his underwear here. I'm assuming they're briefs? Yeah, I'd wear those. What about it? <laughs> uh, get away from me, wolf boy. You're so sticky. Yeah. You guys already pushed me to the freaking corner here. You move. Well. Well, it's still a little early to sleep anyway. Do you guys want to do something else, like play a game or something? Mm, I kind of want to go outside again to get a little fresh air. My tummy's still rumbling from all that beef stew. Yeah, I'll do anything to get out of this tent. I'll even play with Torchhead. I just realized, like, okay, so Hero, Hero eats a lot. How come during all of his sex scenes, he didn't, like, you know, have a accident? <laughs> Y'all know exactly what I'm talking about, okay? Do, I don't need to spell it out here. How come he didn't have any mess occur? Unrealistic. <laughs> Zero out of ten. Camp Buddy isn't real. Guys. Because we can't go outside. It's already way past curfew. We can't just disobey one of the few rules so Goro set out for us here. Yeah. Uh, curfew, smurf you. Who even invented that lame idea anyway? Well... Well, it's for our own safety, Yoichi. We can't compromise our health or have campers suddenly missing at night. 
if you're really that bored, we can just write in Kiro's journal together. And on that note, I'm skipping the dialogue. Bye. Yeah, exactly. Well... No, fuck mm. off. Y'all can't live through him all the time. Also, Kinro's tank top is hideous. <laughs> honestly, honestly, Kinro needs to return that outfit. Someone lied to him several times, told him he looked cute and fly. No. Yeah. <sighs> that camera bag. Campers. Oh, there's a piece of dirt in my screen. Let me. Hey, campers. Oh. Oh, it's Camp Master Yoshi. <laughs> I hope you guys still have some spare energy left, because we're going to have a little activity tonight for a job well done these past few days. Scout Master Yoshi? Is that why you're... Oh, this is where they go swimming. Okay, <laughs> I can just click through this. And yeah, I know I could skip, but I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. Oh, I'm gonna lie down. <laughs> I'm so professional. <sighs> I, I'm honestly baffled that on the uh, on the past channel I made it to 5,000 subs. Like, y'all really stand this? Because I don't. <laughs> I can't. Okay, well, in my defense, right? I can't think of any other Let's Player I've watched where they're this kind of loose. Wow. And no, I'm not talking about, like, bussy. I'm talking just in terms of demeanor and attitude and recording style. <laughs> so, ooh. Hmm. Oh, I just realized on my podcast we're going to have to talk about Virtue's Last Reward. Do I even want to try and bother to explain how bad that game was? Well, okay. I actually thought the game was good up until the ending. So. Scoutmaster Yoshi? That's going to be dredging up some old feelings. Hoo cha! <laughs> oh, shut the fuck up, not to me, you blue haired scallywag. <laughs> well. <sighs> This is, this is, uh, if, if I ever did streaming and it was like a stream in the afternoon where I've barely woken up, this is what I would serve. I would, I would probably just be reading through chat while just about paying attention to the game and low-key not giving a fuck. Uh, not to me. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. You and your little hazard warning sign on your swimwear. Oh. Uh. So happy today the weather's like not sunny. If you look outside right now, well, where I live in Ireland anyways, it's uh it's just gloomy. I love Isn't it. Isn't this exciting? But the, but the temperature hasn't dropped, you know? So it, it may look bad, but it's actually still nice out. It's just the sun. Oh, the sun adds this extra <sighs> layer of pain. <laughs> Cuz when you see the sunshine outside and you can't really do anything outside, it feels extra shitty, but now it's still nice. Temperature-wise, it's just no sun, so there's no guilt. <laughs> yes, yes, go take yeah! a dip. And this is giving me like free vibes. Hold on. I wonder if I'll ever rewatch re Free someday. Probably not. I've had this rant before, but yeah, no, Free was just not it. It was just not it. I think you can like it for what for what it's actually going for, but as far as voice love, it is fraudulent. Let's go. <laughs> I wouldn't really recommend. Unless I guess you're that desperate for pretty boys, but you can find pretty boys other places. And and they're much better pretty boys. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Yes, yes. Oh my god. Can y'all imagine being friends with Kedro? Cause I don't think I want to imagine it. Ah, mm. uh, I can't find my dildo anywhere. Did you see it over there, Natsumi? <laughs> Uh, no, Kidro, but I'm sure it's just in here somewhere. <laughs> Besides, it might not be a good idea to bring that out. Oh, my God. Well... I mean, we're already bending the rules a little too much now. <laughs> the... Um... The noises from your dildo might catch Surigoro's attention and get us in all in trouble. Oh. Oh, you're right about that, Natsumi. And besides, we'll be swimming anyway. What was I thinking? Ha 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 ha. What were you thinking? And yes, I just randomly decided to change Kidro's camera to a dildo. It made the game ten times more enjoyable. <laughs> oh, Y'all can drag me. This will be my most panned video of Camp Buddy yet. I'm ready for it. Come on, 1000% dislike ratio. Although, I'm pretty sure I don't have likes and dislikes enabled. Do I? I made a decision a long time ago to just, like, 
who cares about that shit, so I don't think I have it on my videos, but I think ever since I've been on the new channel, I don't know if that's still the same. Ah, the evening breeze is so nice. Attention! Good evening, Kiro. Aren't you gonna join us with a swim? Scoutmaster oh, Yoshi! Oh, Scoutmaster Yoshi, I was about to. I was just enjoying the evening breeze for a minute. It's just been really warm tonight, and I've been watching these calm waves for a while. Yes, of course! That's exactly why I figured this was the perfect time for it. I made sure to check the tide schedule and the weather before inviting you all out. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you really prepared for this, sir, as usual. Yes, of course! <laughs> <laughs> For some reason in my mind, I thought, imagine, imagine if this suddenly transitioned to, into a sex scene. That would be really weird. I'm pretty sure no one out there ships Yoshi and Keiro, right? 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 <laughs> of course. Like I said a while ago, I really wanted to spend some time with you boys. Uh-oh. <laughs> Predator alert! <laughs> I know this might sound a little strange, but I am reminded a lot of my own experiences here from Camp Buddy by you and your friends. Yeah, maybe like you and Aiden are feeling nostalgic when you see uh, Kato and Natsumi go at it. And I oop. Furthermore, I felt something reignited me as a scoutmaster ever since we had that talk before the sports fest. I appreciate it. So I really want to make sure I thank you for that. It's all right. Uh, it's no problem at all, sir. I was just there to help you however I could. <laughs> That's right. You've been one of the few people I can trust with these kinds of things. As a matter of fact. And speaking of, I've actually noticed that you and Natsumi have gotten much closer recently as well. Oh. Oh, yes, sir. It's been really fun hanging out with him. As a matter of fact. It's honestly really surpri- Oh, I don't care. I'm gonna read this. This is this is lovely dialogue. It's not bad by any means. I'm just bored. <laughs> I don't even know what I want. I I just want juicy drama. I mean, I know I'm gonna get that with Taiga causing the fallout soon, but that drama's contrived. <sighs> I, I I mean, people did say it plays out better this time around, but still, it's it's a little messy. I'm expecting Goro to still overreact, FYI. So that's gonna be still a hot mess. Da, 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 da. You know, may, maybe maybe this is a note to me to just record after lunch. Don't record after breakfast. Clearly, I am not energized enough for this. <laughs> oh, I'm like looking at the screen at an angle. Yeah, yes, yes. Well. Oh, well, that's nice of you to be. Scoutmaster Yoshi? I mean, I kind of got that from him too, right? He puts immense pressure on himself. And I feel like if he doesn't do the tasks that he thinks he has to do, then he's not doing a proper job here. Uh... Oh, foreshadowing. <laughs> Come on, Camp Buddy 2. <laughs> Wow, this really is a nice foreshadowing. Uh, Whatever. I still want my Camp Buddy Denkin Rumpa game. Y'all can hit it. <laughs> uh, like, someone gets executed and then Kidro has sex right afterwards to try and wash away the pain. Uh, <laughs> uh, you know, the more I think about it, the more I want Hero to die first in my alleged Camp Buddy Denkin Rumpa game. I want it. I want it to happen. <laughs> <laughs> Hero fans, come at me. Y'all know it would be good drama. Excellent work. Oh my god, okay, we get it. You're a grown man and you were helped out by a young child. Okay. Thank you so much. I don't really mean that. We all know Kiro's like 20 years old, but whatever. I disagree. He doesn't look it. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, where where is Natsumi? I'm surprised he isn't in this scene. Oh. Oh, we better have an emotional scene. I guess I'll have to pay attention. Oh. All right. All right, you two. Where is Natsumi? Are we about to have a moment? 
Ah, uh, there he is. Hey there, Natsumi. Aren't you going to join in? Oh my god, we have voice acting! Queens! Okay, yeah, let me turn this shit up. Actually, no, I think it's loud enough as it is. Uh, it's alright, Kiro. I'm not really in the mood to swim for tonight. Oh. Uh, <laughs> that was a harsh O. Oh. Are you still worried about us getting in trouble for night swimming? Actually, yeah. I'm kind of scared Sorgoro might see us at any moment. Is that why you're hiding here? <laughs> you really know how to read me, Keitaro. Well, you can tell me what you're thinking, and I'll listen. Uh, I just wonder why Scoutmaster Yoshi would break a few simple rules Sorgoro set over something like this. It's, it's not that deep. It's just to have fun. It's to give the, the scouts a breather. Up to the point that he made other Scoutmasters stall Sir Goro for him. Doesn't it bother you that Scoutmaster Yoshi is the one who always tells us to follow the rules, but decides to break them now? Yeah, but he gave his reasoning. He gave his reasoning! Well, we've always followed Scoutmaster Yoshi because we know he has his reasons. I'm sure he just wants to spend time with us and show that he can have fun too. It's kind of like how you hung out with us instead of doing chores, when you learned to relax a little. I see. But I do get why you feel that way, though. When I first joined camp, I always thought of Scoutmaster Yoshi as someone who always stuck to the rules no matter what. But as the days went by, I slowly realized there was more to him than a leader we needed to follow. He was a person who had his own flaws, too. And that's perfectly fine. In fact, I respect him much more because of it. Natsumi? I'm so sorry, Keitaro, but I'm just so confused right okay, now. Okay, this, this, I feel like this is, this is maybe, this is, I think he's taking this too deep, okay? I know Keitaro's not saying what I'm gonna say, but if I was here, I'd be like, you need to just, I think you need to reevaluate things. I think you're just in your head a bit too much about this. It's not a big deal. I, I think there's probably a deeper issue here. He's just not vocalizing it. I mean... Over the past few days of this vacation, there were so many times I needed to readjust myself. I was overthinking, I was trying to follow rules too much, and now I'm making a big deal over something so simple. Oh, wait, girl, are you falling down the spiral? Okay, well, that's, you know, that's, that's unfortunate. It, ha it happens to the best of us. I feel like I'm going in circles because there's no way I can keep things balanced. Yeah, but that's... I mean, okay, this is, I feel like I'm, I'm giving like nonchalant advice here, but that, that is usually how life plays out. Like you can try so hard to be on top of things, but you'll never find that fine line. You just kind of have to find certainty within uncertainty. And I know it's even more frustrating for you and everyone else to have to keep telling me to relax or not overthink things. Oh, no, it's not. It's not. You know, honestly, I think it's kind of, well, <laughs> part of me is annoyed because it feels like tropey to have the the character who's very much obsessed with maintaining order have an issue with relaxing and then he's he doesn't find the right balance like i i think i only have an issue with it as as far as maybe writing goes but as i mean listen if you were a real person before me and you expressed this i i, I really wouldn't hold it against you sir it's really made me think about why i work this hard and why I'm so strict with myself in the first place. Oh my shit. Okay, um... There's no use thinking about it even more. I don't know either. You must have a reason too. Only you can answer that, Natsumi. Only you can answer that, Natsumi. Keitaro. Oh, that was sultry. Look, you may not have the answers now, but that doesn't mean you're not trying hard enough. There was someone in my comment section who said that, um, oh god, was it, is it, Natsumi has extreme anxiety, or, or something in that realm, like he has a condition, but the game doesn't really outright say it, but if you look at the, the context, you could, you could totally interpret it that way, um, and I can get that. I can understand that. He, he, in a lot of ways, you could read that 
Well, my my initial reading of him is that he he do, he he feels immense. He puts immense pressure on himself because that's what he thinks he has to do to be a functioning human being. Or maybe he feels less than his brother, so he feels like if if he. Okay, sorry, I got interrupted by my virus protection. Where was I? Okay. So I believe at the beginning of Natsumi's route, I kind of took a guess and said that Natsumi puts immense pressure on himself because he wants to live up to his family's high standards. He wants to not be overshadowed by his brother. If he doesn't keep up the hard work that he constantly performs, Maybe the scouts won't look at him as responsible and reliable, and he'll lose purpose. That's that's what that's and that's what I just gleamed from what like a few days in game with the character. But now I think he's facing the existential crisis of well, once he evaluates himself and recognizes, well, why do I do all this? Where do you like? Where do you go from there? And that really is something only he can answer. I could give some generic platitude about how, you know, you'll you'll find a way to find yourself worth again, but that's so broad and doesn't really help anyone and isn't specific enough advice for him. Uh, it's tricky. I don't really know what to say. Some things just take time to figure out. You shouldn't be so hard on yourself. You know, as much as I sometimes dislike Kiro, because it feels like he always knows what to say. He's like the perfect cheerleader. I mean, his advice, his advice is, is, is completely perfect here. What you're feeling right now is normal, but I want you to realize that these moments are all a part of learning more about yourself. Yeah, like, you'll never get the balance right. You know, someone tells, let's say you have a bad habit, and someone tells you to stop. It's not as if the second you're told to stop, you're going to stop. <laughs> you still might occasionally do that bad habit out of habit um but over time you'll correct yourself you know so it's just it's just gonna take time i wouldn't worry too much about it i think everyone here likes you and the, and everyone knows that you're trying you know there's there, i don't think there's any ill intent here <sighs> i don't know how you never get tired of dealing with me Kato. uh Oh, wow, he's reading me right now, because wasn't I, like, low-key tracking the route earlier? Ooh. But I really appreciate you listening to me and trying to give me advice. Of course, Natsumi. I'll always be here for you to help out. And I'm sure I'll figure it out as long as I keep trying, just like you said. Now, saying that, as much as I think this scene is really nice, the sex scenes are still kind of a boo. But <laughs> that's a whole separate issue. That's right. We just keep at it together. If you want, you could always take your mind off things by helping me write in my journal. I think that's a good idea, Kitaro. Great. Let me just go get it from the tent really quick, and we can start writing right here. Sure thing. Really? The okay, well, I really enjoyed that cutscene, but fuck this journal. <laughs> oh, this has been one of the mess of your camp buddy videos. I don't give a shit. Oh, oh, this lag. I'm out. You know, honestly, girls, let's bounce. I'm out of here. Fuck this shit. I'm saving and quitting. <laughs> uh, well, this was certainly different. Don't worry. Don't worry. Next part, I will. I will not be as off the cuff and and messy. Uh, I I just I'm just I wanted to record, and then I realized a few minutes into recording that. I don't know if I'm really in the mood to record, but I recorded anyways. But you know, this this is this actually I I mean I actually it, it, it thought this was all right. What happened in the game was all right. So maybe maybe it all worked out in the end. <laughs> okay, well, uh, yeah yeah. Next time I'll just record maybe uh, after lunch. <laughs> Um, a few hours after I've woken up. But on that note, guys, thanks to anyone who watched as per usual, and hopefully I'll see you again in another video.